When you're working on your STEM research poster, whether you're starting from scratch or the template, you're going to have text boxes that has the content in your poster. So right here, all of these are different text boxes that you can double click inside of and change the name. So let's say my project was plants and mental health. Oops. So I can type that in there and then click off to deselect that text box. Now I can come and click that text box again to select it. And this is where I can come up here and change the font to whatever I want. Just know though that if you have a free account, some of the fonts that you see with the crowns are fonts that you cannot choose. So let's say I wanted it to use this Anton because it's a lot thicker and I can use the resize handles to resize it. There are two things you know, need to know with the resize handle. If you grab the corner handles that are circles, that is going to proportionally reshape the text. See how the font size is changing? So I can use that to kind of position and drag around that text box until I feel like it gives me a good title size. Now with text like this, that's a whole paragraph. If you do the same corner handles, it will also resize it. You can see the font gets smaller. But if I don't want to resize it, but I do actually want to reshape it so that maybe this paragraph goes a little bit longer, I can use these side handles that are more oval in shape. So I can go ahead and squeeze that down and that just reshapes the text box without changing the font size. So this is a good size for me and I can leave it there like that. Again, if you do this, it's going to change the font size and then you have inconsistency in font size. So just be aware of that. Now, if you want to delete a text box, you can click on it and hit the trash or the delete or, de or the delete or backspace key on your keyboard. So I'll just hit delete here. If I want to add text, I go over to the text area and I can add a heading, a subheading, or a little bit of body. There's not really any difference between these except for size. So I know I don't want a massive heading right here, so I'm going to choose add a subheading. It's a little bit too big, so I can just resize it using those corner handles and then drag the frame to where I want that subheading to be. Now if I want to change the font and whatever photo I have on here, I want to be able to change the color so that it has good contrast. I can change the size here. I can come and change the color here as well. So I can change it to maybe this color and I can make it bold or not, italics or not. And this is also depends on what font you've picked. Some fonts don't let you have an italic version. I can add underlining. I can change it to all caps if I want to. And then in terms of line spacing, which would look better in a paragraph, you can do letter spacing and that spaces out the letters between um, or the space between each letter. And you generally don't want that to be negative. So zero is good or sometimes like 20 or 50 is good, but that's usually only with titles. So I don't really do letter spacing when it comes to paragraphs, but we're going to just leave it at like 10. And then line spacing is the space between all of your lines. So you don't want it to be unreadable and you don't want it to take up too much space. Like you're kind of uh, cheating how much content you have on there. So anywhere between 1.2 and 1.4 is pretty good line spacing for paragraphs. So the last thing you need to know is that for some of your headings, you might want to do a little bit more style. So that's where you can come into the effects panel and maybe I want to add some lift, which adds a drop shadow. Maybe I want to make it neon and I can change the intensity. I can do a glitch design where I change the color of the glitch and I can change how far it's offset. Obviously this should make sense for the topic of your project. So don't do these if you don't have a reason for doing these.